If you're from the Philippines and you love watching horror movies and serial killer documentaries, you probably thought to yourself, why are there no serial killers in the Philippines? Hi, I'm Derth. If you're new here, so am I. This is my first video ever and if you enjoy these types of content, then click subscribe and it will fuel me to do more. Why aren't there no serial killers in the Philippines? Well, there is one documented serial killer. His name is Juan Severino Maliari, a Filipino priest that killed 57 people from 1816 to 1826. Comment down below if you want me to make a video about him. So as we all know, serial killers were the most active from 1970 to 2000. Notice how it slowed down when the internet and technology became more accessible? You know what, maybe the internet isn't as bad as what the old people are saying. Yeah, but all jokes aside, let's go back to our original question. Why didn't a Filipino join the serial killer craze? So I did some research, and I'll put the sources in the description down below, and I compiled all the reasons that might make sense. So the first one is, it's kind of funny, but at the same time, it's not. But the first one is, there are no serial killers in the Philippines because of the chismosa culture. If you've lived in the Philippines or have visited the Philippines, you have probably encountered a chismosa neighbor. Basically, every move you make or the deepest lore of your life, they know about it. And it kind of makes sense that a serial killer wouldn't have the freedom if they had a detective neighbor who did it for entertainment. Some suggest that the police might not be able to connect the dots. There might be a serial killer in the Philippines, but we just don't know about it. You see, I'm not questioning the intelligence of the detectives and the police in the Philippines. Although they do questionable things sometimes, but it is a possibility that they might look over sometimes the signs of a serial killer during crime scenes. But there is also a chance that there are no dots to connect. If there's a police officer watching this, comment down below if you think there are potential dots that needs to be connected. For the third one, makes sense. Filipinos are raised with the fear of God. You see, it doesn't matter which religion it is, but it is a fact that the Philippines is a very religious country. See, I don't know about other religions, but in Christianity, killing a person automatically rejects your entry to heaven. You see, religion divides a lot of people, but in a way, it also unites people with their fear of God. So the second to the last one, most Filipinos live with their family. You see, moving out at 18 is not a common thing in the Philippines or Asia in general. In fact, a lot of people grow old in their childhood homes, which means they also get to grow old with the people they grew up with. Imagine being a serial killer in a household where your cousin is playing video games at 3 a.m. and your sister is watching K-drama at the same time. Yeah, there's no way that you are hiding a body in that household. Okay, so before we go to the last one, Comment down below your theory on why there are no serial killers in the Philippines. Yeah, so last but not least, and I think this one makes sense the most, and it is from a Reddit post. Reddit user Bycricket posted on r slash Philippines and asked, why are there no serial killers in the Philippines? In the same Reddit post, another user replied, maybe we are too preoccupied with survival to think about becoming a serial killer. And it makes so much sense. Most Filipinos are living paycheck to paycheck and are barely getting by throughout the day. The public transportation, wages, the authority and other factors are bad and unlivable. You see, how can you be a serial killer when you are too busy trying to keep yourself alive? Yeah, so that's about it for this video. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and I'll make more videos like this in the future. And I'm not limited to the Philippines only. I'm planning to do the rest of Southeast Asia and then the world. Yeah, thanks for watching.